Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia aka Teacup Simmer and this is the next part of our Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge. And look, we have cats, multiple cats, interacting with each other. Oh my gosh, look, there goes Nightcoat. I'm so excited you guys and we are back in our beautiful little area. And Brightstripe just caught a pygmy tortoise, that's great. We're back in our beautiful little area with are many many different cats. There's Smokeheart and Leopard Tail are goofing around. Nightcoat is kind of running around and Dawnwind has decided to sleep in this morning and it is early, it is bright and beautiful and we are going to kind of explore with our cats. I think Brightstripe kind of as shown by her going out hunting first thing in the morning. I think she wants to kind of get her new friends interested in hunting and all the things that go on. But I think we're going to have to wake up Dawnwind so she can kind of stop being lazy. It's always weird when the smallest cat is the one that stays stays asleep the longest. So, oh, they're so cute. They're playing. What are they doing? Oh, okay, that's adorable. I can't. I can't not. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, you guys are adorable. Let's go so close and personal. They're so cute. I think everyone's just really happy to be like away from the danger. And in this new area with no two legs, smoke heart, you look adorable. Like I love that face you're making. No, down further. Yes, that's so cute. That's great. I like that one but I'll stop I'll stop well as you if you guys did not see the last episode we are back in our in Ray's territory with our five new cats or our five cats and the few rogues leopard tail smoke heart night coat and bright stripe well and Dawnwind sorry and Dawnwind decided to come to bright stripes territory and kind of see all of the what the, all the fuss was about where is nightcoat is he still running around in circles yeah he's still running around in circles um they wanted to see what all the fuss was about when it came to the wild and being a wild cat so nightcoat the one playing over here the adorable cutie that she is brought all of her friends with her to this new little area so that they could spend time with bright stripe kind of learning the ways of wild cats and bright stripe Bright Stripe is over here scratching on the boundary trees, is extremely happy. She's so glad to have new cats in her area and she just wants to be able to spend as much time with them as possible and kind of get used to having new cats in this area that she's kind of built up. Um, I'm pretty sure she would be extremely happy. So, but all of these new cats have no idea how to hunt. I think Dawnwind and Smokeheart are the only ones that got, let's see, where did it go? They got, yeah, Dawnwin got two hunting skill and Smokeheart got two hunting skill. I don't think, yep, Nightcoat doesn't have anything and what the, Leopardtail, yeah, Leopardtail doesn't have any, doesn't have a hunting skill. So where is she going? She's going to go pounce on Dawnwin. So yeah, on that note, we're going to go and see and bring all of the cats over to the training grounds. And yeah, this is our pretty little training ground, so don't, Come on, Bright Stripe, you are going to jump up on this thing. See there. And I think we want to bring, where is it? There are a bunch of different little, um, there they are, the little silver balls. So we want to bring these little stones, so I can click on it, yeah. I'm going to bring it all the way over here so the cats can play with them and kind of grow their hunting skill. Because it's still early in the morning, I don't think anybody, everybody's getting hungry. Yeah, everyone's getting close to being hungry, so we want to make sure we kind of up their hunting skill a little bit more so that they're able to hunt for themselves. And I think Bright Stripe would want to make sure that they, everybody is self-sufficient. Nope, Bright go back on top of your so night coat, practice hunting, leopard tail would probably practice hunting, and then Dawnwind. We'll bring Dawnwind over here. 
and then smoke card over here so that they can kind of practice with each other. And Bright Stripe can basically oversee who is she being nuzzled by? Aw, smoke card's going to nuzzle her. I don't know if they're going to nuzzle. I don't know if they're that close of friends yet. But I think Smoke Heart's really excited. Nope. Let's just go over here. Pause. Bright Strip, come back over here. Jump up onto this. And then... Wait, where did... Where'd Donwin go? Oh, Donwin. So Donwin can come... Friendly, sniff, interact, basically say hi, socialize a second, and then see if they want to practice their hunting skill with each other. And then play pounce. And we're going to play pounce a few times, like twice. And I think to get everybody's kind of like um, interactions up, we're going to kind of play pounce with each other multiple times. And then I think I'm going to send Bright Stripe off to go. No, you're not drinking. She caught the pygmy tortoise, didn't she? Yeah, she caught the pygmy tortoise. <laughs> oh, and like you guys saw. Oh, it's a full moon, so maybe we can give Ray the pygmy tortoise. So, as you guys have seen earlier, you're not drinking anything. Go present to. Ray. As you guys saw in the last episode, Ray kind of killed our older pygmy, pygmy tortoise and <laughs> the one that he got the last full moon. So let's follow her. And she's going to present the new pygmy tortoise to him as her rent for staying in this area. <laughs> and we're going to save that. Oh, is, she looks so happy with herself. Okay, come on. The bad thing is I don't really know how to, and he's not even reacting to it. He's still tending the garden. So let's go down. Bright straight, you got him a tortoise. You just got him a pygmy tortoise last time. But because he killed his other one, because he killed his other one, I think we're, we're okay with giving him this one. So, let's pause there. Why do I keep pressing the space bar? Okay, Ray, stop doing that and react to the thingy. Why do I keep pressing it? And then Bright Stripe, come stalk for prey. Kind of show, I think she'd kind of show everyone how catch that so she can sh kind of show everyone how hunting works and then Ray react to view it why are you viewing it it's not dead why are you crying maybe it's because it reminded him of his other pygmy tortoise Okay, well we're going to put this in here because we don't want it to die. It might die like his last one, but fingers crossed. Let's fill the pygmy tortoise food thing. Can he do that? Like, I want to make sure that it's in the right spot. Because if it's not, can he get to it? Yeah, he can get to it. So he just, he was just a neglectful turtle owner. Donwind, did you finish prouncing? So I think Donwind, smoke cart, go and pounce on Donwind. Let's do pounce twice so she can get some of her hunting skill up. And then I think Leopard Tail. Leopard Tail and Night Coat would kind of practice with each other. So night coat, friendly, socialize, and then friendly, play, 
No, he can't chase. Why can't he chase? Why can't he bounce? Let's play. Play. Pounce. There it is. Play. Pounce. Aw, Bright Stripe didn't catch it. I think she was, that's bad mentor status. She should go stalk for prey a few times so she can find something for everybody to eat since she just gave the only food that she got. And I think they're socializing, kind of surveying the area, being like, okay, we're going to try and practice now. But everybody is so cute. I can't get over the fact that all of these cats are adorable and that we have multiple cats to deal with. They're so cute. Play. Yes, that was adorable. And then these two are still practicing. Aw, they're so cute. Yeah, I think, and I've, from playing this a few at different times, I've realized that the cats kind of get their skills up and their relationships up when they play like this. So they'll have a better chance of... Pause. Where are they going? So she's going to go scratch. Smoke heart. Nope, you're not drinking. You are going to try and stalk for prey. So since both of them now have a few hunting skill and they're able to stalk for prey, I'm going to make them stalk for prey before they're able to eat. And I think it's going to be a big of a shock to them that they have to like work for their food. Um, let's gonna let Donwin go scratch that. Oh, and she wants to be best friends with Smokeheart and she wants to groom Smokeheart. Yay! So this is the this is the idea. I kind of want everyone to kind of become better friends as they train together and groom each other and kind of get closer and closer so that they're more likely to want to form those clan bonds and that family bond because they were all rogues together and they were kind of friends but they weren't that close they didn't have to survive together so i think them doing this would be really beneficial to their relationships and more likely for all of them to want to form clan form a clan so she's going to go scratch on something no well he wants to go scratch on something and he has to pee so come and pee here first, and I think his skill is only one. He wants to groom Leopardtail now, and be best friends with Leopardtail. Leopardtail wants to go and be best friends with Nightcoat. So everyone wants to be best friends with each other. So Nightcoat is going to the bathroom, and then I think, okay, Brightstripe got a barber's map turtle. And what is leopard tailed skill? Okay, so I think they need to train some more. Nightco, you're gonna go scratch. Leopard tail is gonna go scratch. So I'm gonna let them scratch for a bit and then I'm gonna have them train some more. She is still stalking for prey. She wants to socialize with Smokeheart. I think she just wants to talk to her to see how she's in kind of getting along. Smokeheart didn't catch it. She got his colorful feather. All oh, that stinks. But Bright Stripe got skill level seven. That's good. Where's Donwind? Donwind's still scratching. I think she's fine. She doesn't need to scratch that much. So we're gonna send her off hunting. Stock for prey, stock for prey. We're going to kind of zoom out a bit to see where everybody is. It's hard to keep track of everyone, which is kind of why I like having multiple cats around and also why I don't. So Smo, where are you doing? Where are you, Nightcoat? He still needs to scratch, but he's getting hungry. Smokeheart is going to catch a beetle, and she's going to stalk for prey more. So we're going to see if Smokeheart can catch this beetle. Come on. Come on, Smokeheart. Let's hope she does it. <laughs> Can you do it? Can you get it? It'll be like your first actual catch while you're in the wild and I think she'd be really proud of herself for that. Well, she currently wants to groom Donwind, sniff Levertail, and be best friends with Donwind. Did she catch it? <gasps> no, she's got a snake skin. Well, she's gonna stalk for more prey. 
Is Donwin trying to catch something? He's trying to catch a snake. Oh, goodness. Well, at least it's not a colorful snake. I think it was just a regular garter snake. Yeah, I think that's what that was. Let's see if she gets it. No, it's a feather. I can tell. Yeah, it's just a colorful feather. She's going to pounce on Leopard Tail. And then Leopard Tail's going to go use the litter box down in the nursery. But I think... Where's Nightcoat? Nope, you're not allowed to drink. Okay, so Nightcoat, I don't think he can... Yeah, he can stalk her prey. Let's have him stalk her prey over here a few times because he still needs to get his skill up. I don't think he has enough skill yet. But... Leopard Tail and... Bright Stripe are pouncing on each other. I think Leopard Tail would probably... You don't go all the way over there. Just go pee here. Yay! Nightcoat got his hunting skill up to level 2. So I think Leopard Tail would do that. And then she'd want to... Where'd Bright Stripe go? Bright Stripe, come here. Pee here. Nightcoat's still doing that, and he wants to catch a beetle and groom leopard tail. So I think it's five something. So and no one's caught anything, and it's still a full moon, so it's all creepy. Well, we want everybody to at least catch something. They're not really have much having much luck though. Nope, leopard tail, you can't do that. So play. Pounce a few times on Bright Stripe so you can get your skill up. And then Dawnwind needs to stop for more prey. So she can try and find some food. Bright Stripe has a map turtle. But I think while everyone like needs her help... Nightcoat got a map turtle! Okay. So he needs to find one more thing. And I think that's a rule that I found on a few different forums and that I kind of think is pretty fair that if a cat has to bring two things, they have to have one thing for the prey pile and then one thing, and at least two things for the prey pile, and then they can eat. I think that's pretty fair. Oh, that's, that's a, where is, she's still looking, night coat. Oh, Donwin just gained the hunter trait, yay. So that'll make it easier for her to hunt. But Nightcoat... Has he gained the hunter trait too? What's Ray doing? Is Ray asleep? Yeah, he's asleep. Wake up so we can have some light. So Ray is the reason we have lights. <laughs> because they're all lights are attached to him. So he can tend the garden. I don't think what his needs are. He just needs water. That is why we have a shower for him. So he can shower and tend the garden. And then all the cats are getting the hunter trait, which is good and bad. Let's see, Bright Stripe. Bright Stripe, go hunt for something. She can locate certain types of prey now. That's kind of awesome. Okay, so you locate a rodent, and then hunting, locate. Um, let's go with the bird. Wake up, Nightcoat. Oh, he's gonna catch. He's gonna catch one. Let's see if he catches it. Come on, you can do it. It looks really creepy with the. Like full moon lighting. Did you catch it? I think he caught it. Oh my gosh, yes! He got the worm rat. Oh my gosh, yay! Go, night coat. It's all dark. And I think it's because it's nighttime and he does better hunting at night. I think that that's going to be our reason that he does a lot better hunting at night. So. All of his <laughs> he seems to be catching a lot more stuff later in the day. So he still wants to catch a beetle, so I'm going to let him he still wants to catch a beetle, right? Yeah. I'm going to let him catch this. Oh, smoke cart is going to be like I think smoke cart is trying to cheat for a specific reason. I think 
she's kind of like, I didn't expect it to be this hard. <laughs> like, she wants a challenge, but I don't think she expected it to be like this. She also wants to catch a beetle. So let's see if we'll send her over here to catch this beetle and then stalk for prey so she can find something. Because I think she'd probably be a little bit grouchy that she hadn't found anything to eat yet. And then Bright Stripe, she's locating a bird. Okay. Whoa. What just happened? Oh, there's birds all the way over here. Oh, so there's two birds in this area. That's kind of cool. I've never done that before. That's kind of awesome. Let's go back down. Yeah, I've never done that before. That's kind of cool. Bright Stripe, wake up. You are supposed to be the one helping everyone figure out what they're doing. And she caught something. So, and then Leopard Tail, Leopard Tail, wake up. She's not that hungry, and I think it's because she cheated and drank something. But she also has, I think, the lowest hunting skill right now. Yeah, she doesn't have the eye of a hunting skill, and so I think she's kind of like, I've given up. I don't want to do this right now. And she's like, as we learned last time, she's pretty proud, so I don't think she would be up for doing anything. And Donwin, even though she doesn't seem to be catching anything, Smokar caught the cockroach, and Nightcoat caught the ladybug. Yeah, I think Nightcoat is doing a lot better. So he bought, he got three things. So let's pause and send him over here to the prey pile. Go here. Yeah, I'm sending her. They're both, everybody's hunting right now. Cool. So they're not going to get in any trouble. So bring him over here. Come on, Aiko. Yeah, smoke heart went up in her hunting skill. This is what we want. We want warrior cats. We want cats who can defend themselves and actually hunt for their own food. Hopefully everybody will catch something at some point, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Come on, night goat. Okay, so we're gonna send him over here. Yay, leopard tail finally got to hunting skill level two. So we're gonna send him over here and he's pretty much gonna drop all of his stuff into the prey pile. His first basically knight as a warrior. Where are you? So we're going to make him, let's see, Ed, he'd probably go for the turtle. He'd be very, he'd be very happy with himself. So, I think, yeah, she has, and she wants to catch a turtle, and be friends, be best friends, and sniff leopard tail, and improve her hunting skill. So let's give her, improve the hunting skill. I don't know if she's going to catch a turtle. And she wants to be best friends with Donwind. And she wants to eat food. I think she's just hungry. She doesn't really care where it comes from. She's kind of, I think Leopard Tail is kind of wishing for the barn again. She's like, they left food out for us. Why do we have to keep doing this? She's a little bit prissy right now. But she also wants to catch a beetle. So let's see if we can find another beetle. There are tons and tons of beetles around here. Um, all of the spawners that I put down are kind of ridiculous. Let's see if she can try and catch that. I think it's a cockroach. Yeah, it's a cockroach. Let's see if she can try and catch that. She wants to drink from the toilet, and she wants to catch a turtle, and she wants to catch a beetle. So let's see if we can find another beetle for... This will work? Yeah. Let's see if we can find another beetle for Dawnwind, and then send her off hunting again. So that she can try and find some more food. And... Bright Stripe wants to goof around with Leopard Tail and socialize with Smoke Heart and improve her hunting skill. So I think I'm going to send her off to keep hunting too. And then Leopard Tail's also hunting, Smoke Heart's hunting, Nightcoat's eating. I think he's earned, he's earned his food today. But as long as we know that his name means something, like I didn't actually like expect that, that he'd be a lot better at hunting at night, but apparently he's a much better at hunting at night. So his social is down and his energy is down. So I'm gonna send him, he's grooming himself. So I'm gonna let him be. He's gonna do whatever he wants to do. 
And then smoke heart, what are you up to? I think smoke heart still a little bit frustrated. She used to pee. Donwin caught a cockroach. Yay, so she must be a little bit happy with herself. She's like, finally I caught something. What are you doing, Ray? He's watching a he's watching his turtle. There's a turtle here. Oh, there's another turtle here. So who wanted to catch a turtle? Donwin wanted to catch a turtle. So let's send Donwin to catch this turtle. And then Wait, who are you? Oh, you're bright stripe. Sorry, I can't tell. With all the with the way that the lighting is at full moon, I can barely see. No, you're not drinking. Come and catch this turtle, because that's what you want to do. Smoke cart caught a western painted turtle. See, everyone's catching turtles. I think for some reason there's so many turtles around here. There are turtles and snakes and everything like that. So I think smoke cart caught her. Nope, she needs, I think she needs to catch one more. No, I think she caught enough to be able to say that she has contributed to the prairie pile. And then so did Bright Stripe. Bright Stripe's gonna catch this though. And then she's gonna stop for more prey. So let her catch that. And then see. Donwin caught the turtle! Yes! Okay, everyone seems to be catching things. Except for Leopard Tail, who seems to be really prissy. So Leopard Tail, you need to catch something so that you can eat. And once everybody eats, <laughs> I think we're going to let them go to sleep. Smoke heart. There you are. Okay, so we're going to put her cockroach and her turtle there. And we're just going to let her pee here. And then I think she'd go for the worm rat. Yeah, and then she's really tired, so we're gonna go to let her go to sleep. Night coat, he went to go sleep. Bright stripe, she goes she's going to scratch. I think she she added enough. She didn't get the turtle though. Dawnwind, where are you? I thought she caught that turtle. She didn't catch the turtle? Where'd it go? I think she did she eat it? Is that what it said? Did she eat the turtle? But she was so hungry she ate it. She ate the turtle. First rule. Oh my gosh. So then, yeah, she has to stay out here because she doesn't have anything to she doesn't have anything to add to the prey pile. Technically for warrior cats, the first rule is that you're supposed to bring food back for the clan and then feed yourself. And I think she just broke that first rule. And I think Oh, she's gonna catch a brightly colored snake. We don't have a medicine cat right now. Where is it? Where's the sneak? There it is. Yeah, we don't have a medicine cat right now, so we can't... I'm not going to roll for it because they're still really new and her getting hurt because of this is... Wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to do anything about it. So I'm going to let her try and catch it. This actually looks really cool. Like the snake, the way the snake looks. But hunting cat. Rawr. Well, leopard tail got a caught a beetle. That's good. This looks so ominous. Like she's she's coming up on it. All creepy like. And go down. Sorry, I just like taking pictures of this. This is really cool. And she's gonna be ready to pounce. And she pounced. Yeah. Hopefully she catches it, cause that would kind of stink. Cause that would mean she probably would have gotten hurt. Right now, like I said, we're not going to like roll for anything because we don't know, and we don't have a medicine cat to take care of it. Did she get it? I can't tell. She got it. She got it. Yes, she got it. She's gonna go pee, and then she's gonna keep. Hunting, bright stripe. Where'd you go? Oh, she's scratching. Where is the prey pile? I can't tell. 
Oh, everything is all topsy-turvy. Okay, so we're going to bring Barber's Map Turtle and the Rhinoceros Beetle over here. And then Bright Stripe's going to eat her turtle. And I think Smokeheart went to bed already. Nightcoat went to bed. So Leopardtail needs to catch a few things before she can come eat. Ooh, and I think Leopardtail didn't catch it. She got an empty chip bag. Darn it. So I think Dawnwind is good. I think she's pretty much done for the day. Yeah, I think because she's caught the cockroach. Like I said, the rule is two. So she caught the cockroach and the snake. So she should come and be very proud of herself and eat her snake. She's not going to stalk her prey. Leopardtail has grown her hunting skill a little bit more. But I think she's still kind of still kind of grouchy that she can't seem to find anything. There are so many seeds out here. Ray, what are you doing? He's recycling. We'll come pick up these seeds. He's not really doing much with them. Like he's harvested a ton of stuff from the garden around here, but it's mostly just to keep everything in order. After summer's over, I think we're gonna just gonna get rid of everything and end up changing all of the plants out, but he's not gonna play much of a role other than like, Leopardtail, what are you doing? Dawnwind, are you sleepy? Yeah, she wants to scratch and go to sleep. So we're gonna send her to scratch. Well, yeah, we're gonna send her to scratch and then Leopardtail caught a cockroach. Is that her second? Is that her second thing? Yes, it's her second thing. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna pause, send Leopardtail over here, and then put her beetles. She only caught beetles. I think she's done the worst out of everyone. Send her over here, and then she can come eat. She wants to improve her hunting skill and catch a turtle. Donwin's gonna go scratch. Leopardtail, come eat your cock eat one of the cockroaches. The many, many cockroaches that are in here. And then I think Donwin would probably go to sleep. And then so would Leopardtail after she eats. And this is pretty much the warrior's den, and I don't know where Brightstripe went to sleep. Where did she go? She's all the way out here. Whoa! She went all the way over here just to go to sleep. Maybe she likes it over here? I guess it's considering that, like, because she doesn't know of any other cats, she's pretty much claimed it as her territory. But I haven't put any lights over here, so I don't think she'd be able to see. So we're gonna come back all the way over here. Brightstripe, come sleep in your own territory, or at least the territory that you, you've claimed. Go sleep here. In Dawnwind, yeah, and so her portrait color changed to yellow, but I'm not going to roll for anything just because we know why she's really sleepy, really tired, and we also still don't have a medicine cat. And so as we kind of progress and find some more might possibly find some more cats, kind of get these cats more interested in being wild, wild cats, then we're going to kind of see who wants to be medicine cat and who can kind of take over those duties so that when things happen, which like she probably could have hurt herself from, Dawnwind could have hurt herself from trying to fight that snake and because she's, a, I'm going to consider her like almost like a teenager because she's still really, really young. Um, she could have possibly hurt herself trying to fight the snake, and so she's probably was trying to prove herself, and she could probably she could have gotten hurt, and a medicine cat would have helped if she could have got if she might have gotten poisoned or scratched or gotten a bite of some kind. And because we have so many cats, and we have, I think the fleas came back. Okay, no, I think yeah, nightcoat doesn't have fleas, leopard tail doesn't have fleas, so yeah, so. 
because those two don't have fleas, I think tomorrow during, because it's not, we're not going to have like, we're only going to have a little bit of training the next episode, the next time that they try and fight, or the next time that they try and kind of interact with each other. Um, they're going to have, or they're probably going to share tongues so that we can get rid of everybody's fleas, or at least the people who have fleas, which is Bright Stripe, Dawn Wind, and Smoke Heart. Those are the only three who have fleas right now. I think Nightcoat groomed himself and so did Leopardtail and they don't they refuse to have fleas. They refuse to let the wild change their change what they enjoy about life, which is being extremely clean. So I think that's where we're going to leave it, you guys. Um Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this part. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you really love me, please subscribe. Also, if you guys want to hear about what's going to happen with the series, possibly. Uh, why is Nyko getting up? Nyko! Nyko, why are you getting up? He wants to go scratch on something. Okay, I'm going to let him do it. But if you want to see what's happening with the series, if you want to know why I'm taking so long to post, please follow me on Twitter. The, there's a my um twitter handle on in the description box below there's also a bunch of different links for a, um, a bunch of different places that i'm at um, i think i'm on tumblr facebook and a couple of places and i mostly post on twitter when i'm going to be recording why i haven't been recording <laughs> what i'm doing and we can kind of interact and you guys can kind of show me what you think about the series and give me your feedback and we can kind of continue to grow and keep this going. I have a bunch of different plots in mind. Um, this episode was kind of just getting to know our cats, trying to see how they kind of get used to the wild. And Ray is asleep and I can't see. Just kind of getting to you, getting them used to the wild and kind of, kind of showing you guys their personalities because we need to spend a little bit more time with them before the random generator starts kicking in and my plots start kicking in and everything starts moving really quickly. Um, right now, the random generator, the gods who give us the random generators, <laughs> were really nice today and said nothing happened, so I kind of let everybody train. But in the next one, I have no idea what they're going to give me, what I'm going to have to deal with when it comes to those generators. So please let me know what you guys think. Please keep coming up with different... Um, different names for the clan, for the possible clan, different things that you think should happen for each cat because you guys are kind of getting introduced to them more and you're seeing how they interact and, oh, it's morning already, and you're kind of seeing how they interact and what might happen to them. Give me, please give me ideas, show me what you guys think about them. I really want to hear, hear from you guys, um, but also definitely follow me on Twitter if you want to know what's going on. I usually say what I'm going to be doing. And also, I'm pretty sure it's going to go up um, in the next few hours or so, but I'm going to be posting a 25 facts about me tag. Um, so if you guys want to know anything about me, anything like specific, like what my name is, my favorite color, what I want to do with my life, why I decided to make my channel, things like that, just to kind of get to know me a little bit more because I'm still really new to YouTube and I have been my channel's been growing really quickly and I'm kind of happy about that. Oh, Nightcoat got a rhinoceros beetle all on his own. That's kind of awesome. He's getting used to being a war he's getting used to being a warrior cat. That's kind of great. So I think I'm gonna leave this here, you guys, and thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!